Mega start. Okay, sir. Good morning, everyone present. I, Medha Sharma, on behalf of Dolphin Institute, Dehradun, welcome you all on this webinar, uh, webinar on better things, better living through chemistry. <clears throat> so, before starting, let's have a glimpse uh, of our institute through a short video. So, sir, please, video on the video. फिर से शहरों में रौनक आएगी फिर से गाँव में लौटेगी हसी फिर से साथ सारे यार होंगे ना होगी पाबंदी फिर से सड़कों पे सब नाचेंगे पटरी पे पहिए भागेंगे पूजेंगे खेलों के मैदान बांटेंगे हम खुशियाँ हम भी हम मिलकर बांटेंगे फिर से होगी सपनों की उड़ान जो साथ दे दे सारा इंडिया मुस्कुराएगा इंडिया Thank you, sir, for the refreshing videos. So, not taking much time, I would request Dr. Varsha Par uh, Parcha, Professor, Chemistry Department, Dolphin Institute, to give a welcome address. मैम अनम्यूट करो ना शुरू शुरू करू करू का मैं दोबारा लॉन्च कर रहा हूं आपको ना डन थैंक यू वेरी मच मेधा 
Good morning, everybody. Myself, Dr. Varsha Parcha, Professor, Department of Chemistry and Pharmaceutical Chemistry, Dolphin PG Institute of Biomedical and Natural Sciences, Manduwala, Dehradun. On behalf of management, DIBNS, welcome you all on this webinar, Better Thanks for Better Living Through Chemistry. And the theme is scope, application, importance, and various, various career options in the field of chemistry. Indeed, it's a very, very proud moment very proud moment when we have gathered and there are the experts from different fields of chemistry which are here to give you or share your view share their views and address the audience and especially the students which are in a dilemma what field to choose and what not to choose i am in the field of this uh, chemistry since last 25 above more than 25 years I am in this field of chemistry and over the years, what students, what participants I have felt, it is felt that students are little scared for the, from this uh, chemistry. This chemistry is a very little, um, I mean, interesting, no doubt it is, but it is causing a fear. Students run uh, away from this, no doubt. The subject is so good, so good with a tremendous importance, tremendous applications with a great amount of career opportunities in it but yes i felt it no doubt at my time long before when i have done my phd in 1994 at that time also chemistry used to be a very lucrative subject but a little afraid that yes very bright students can choose it but not this is not the case that is why i thought why not to conduct a webinar on this people are speaking so much on advances in chemical sciences different instruments techniques but basic thing what we require how we require and what to do is a need of the hour so since you know uh, you can see everywhere you find your body is a bunch of chemicals bunch of chemicals every emotion day to day activity everywhere you relate it's a chemistry when we talk in a general terms also we say chemistry of two people match each other so we can understand how valuable this subject is how valuable its importance is how good it's it will be a career for the people but still we think we get scared out of it we get scared out of it so that's why i thought we thought a dolphin insured thought why not to conduct a, such a webinar where students get attracted they come to know about the career options over here. You know, in this pandemic where life is standstill, we got a solution from chemistry, you know, prevention, soap solution. I have been telling it again and again, soap solution, wash your hands with soap. So what is that? Sodium salt of long chain fatty acid. Sanitizer, what is it? Alcohol. From prevention to cure, the role of chemistry is coming in so whether it's a drug whether it is a vaccine whether it's a day-to-life day-to-day life so definitely chemistry plays a very 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 important role in our uh, life so that's why we are here here uh, for this webinar we are very fortunate uh, that we have eminent speakers dr pk gupta scientist g and in charge cellulose and paper division forest research institute we have with us dr prashant singh associate professor and a very well-known personality in whole of Uttarakhand, uh, DAV College. He is presently in the DAV College. We have younger, uh, from younger generation, Dr. Abhishek Gupta from DBS PG College. And also Dr. A.K. Joshi, who is working silently uh, in the field of chemistry from the, uh, he's working in the dark pattern. So I welcome you all, sir, for this webinar. We have, uh, it's a proud to tell me that uh, when we uh, gave an ad for this uh, webinar to join people to send the Google forms and uh, to my surprise, I let you know there are four, more than 380 responses and people are very much, that shows how much interested they are to learn about career in the chemistry scope and different aspects of chemistry. So uh, Dr. P.K. Gupta will be speaking about the forestry chemistry. Dr. Pirshan sir will be speaking about environmental chemistry, where, where you can put in. Uh, Dr. Abhishek will be speaking general about the opportunities, different courses, certificate courses, diploma courses, what you can do. So Dr. Ake jo Joshi will be throwing a light on different aspects of importance of chemistry. So I think students, you are going to have a very good time, very good time. So fasten your belt, 
stick to the chair and do not lo go here and there what generally people do in a webinar they move here and there because you are going to miss something which may be a very um, burning spark in your life you have not to miss that so any opportunity anything you have to um, what we say make hay while sunshine so please stick to your chair fasten your belt and listen to what our experts say so to if we will we now begin with our webinar so um, uh, i will request dr pk gupta as i introduced to you uh, he is scientist uh, g he is scientist g uh, forest research institute and in charge cellulose and paper division to come for his presentation he has got a uh, ms as a man of academic excellence too much of credentials to his credit it will be take me i think whole of the webinar will be conducted if i am going to speak about him a lot but to give a brief insight dr parveen kumar gupta he is head and scientist g cellulose and paper division uh, forest research institute dehradun he has obtained his doctorate in 2000 from jadavpur national university jodhpur uh, he has got a work experience as a head and scientist g in cellulose and paper division since 2000 14 he has got an award the uh, visiting scientist nottingham university uk from world bank fao from 1998 to 1999 he has got to his contribution publications 85 government sponsored project 35 it means a lot and phd supervised 23 beside this so many awards so many patents so many credentials to his credit but Uh, definitely it will take lot of time so i may, i would not like to take much of your time and i would request dr parveen gupta to please come and share his uh, knowledge in the expert he is expert in the forestry chemistry so he will be talking about the same so please may i request dr pk gupta to please come and share his views thank you uh good morning to all uh, thank you very much uh, dr varsha pracha madam aapne bahut jyada introduce kar diya itna aur main good morning to my co panelist uh, dr prashant uh, and uh, dr rakesh joshi and dr abhishek gupta and uh, good morning to uh, you all and also good morning to all the listeners of this webinar today uh i have been asked to throw light something on better things uh for our day and day life and you and in in the field of chemistry how can chemistry contributes and uh, so basically let me introduce my uh so please go for the uh, uh, powerpoint presentation may I request the yeah thank you very much so i uh, i work in this very renowned institute it's a institute of really uh, which has contributed a lot to the forestry research and it's and forest I research want... institute am i uh, this a forest institute uh, dehradun and uh, dehradun uttarakhand so it's the, this is the uh, building of our institute where we work now coming to the topic today uh the question asked to me was uh what is what is what are the things means how is graduate student or a post graduate students uh look to his future when he uh, take this uh, chemistry uh, subject as a mainstream for his profession or for his field to work in uh so as we can understand very well that there are uh Uh, many fields almost we can say since chemistry is involved everywhere everything is chemistry chemical it's a molecule or a compound so almost all uh, application groups will be having a chemist associated with that uh, setup so that he can address the chemistry part like there will be people from other streams like from physics and other fields also so to some to name some of the fields where a chemist can contribute and work into like in an industries so if industries means they will look for chemist in almost many 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 industries 
So people work in industries. It may be a textile industry. It's maybe a pulp and paper industry. It's a pharmaceutical industry. You need chemist. Even if it is a pharmacologist or other person, he will be studying chemistry. Then environment is another big field. You now you, global warming and so many things are being talked about. So uh, chemists are required to address the problems of global warming as well. So you need uh, people in environment. So chemist people work there also. Then forensic science is also a, a application field. Medical chemist is also required. Pharmacologists are required. Then people are required to teach chemistry. So <laughs> you need to uh, have more people into chemistry stream so that they can contribute to the different application fields. So you have teachers, university lecturers. These are all. Then pharmaceutical research is also there. Then we have engineers, chemical engineers. Though it's uh, not a chemistry graduate, as a pure chemistry, it's application side. So we have chemical engineers. They also uh, do the same thing in a different way. Then we have analytical, analytical chemist. And these are only few that I have named here. Otherwise, you see everything is a chemistry, whether it's organic, inorganic, or physical, everything. They have an application in all different lives and setups. So another question arises that it's uh, we, when we do graduation, then we do post-graduation. After that, is it everything that we have learned or we... So some many students who do post-graduation in chemistry, they further choose research as a career so for that it's a it's a not a mandatory but it's a, normally students they take a phd programs where they got a doctorate degree and after uh, they they can join the research organizations as well now these are some of the areas uh, like uh, uh, in chem where these chemistry people also the pharmaceutical industry People join in the pharmaceutical industry, food. Food industry is a very big industry. We have a very big organization of CSIR in Mesur, Central CFTRI, Central Food and Research Institute. Then we have health services. We have agents, patent agencies who need chemists to analyze the patents filed by different researchers. So there also they hire chemistry people so that they can uh, see what the patent has been filed in chemistry. Then we have chemical industry, it's a very big thing. Then we have industrial consultants in chemistry. Education is one thing we have already talked about. Marketing people, sales, they also require a knowledge of chemistry. So chemistry people do contribute in marketing and sales. Government services, almost many government services, they directly look for people in chemistry field. Inland revenue, accountancy from these firms also, when they do accountancy or they chartered accountants, when they do cost analysis, profit analysis, so a chemical to, for a chemical chemistry industry, so they know they want people who know accountancy as well as chemistry also, or chem, about merchant banks. So same thing when they give loan to a chemical industry, they need mm -hmm. people like who, who knows about chemistry. So these are was the general future aspects where a graduate in chemistry or postgraduate can contribute and uh, are required. Now, my field is research, so I will mainly focus on the environmental or research field. Uh, so and go to the next. Now the question arises, now in forestry, what is a, what are the chemistry people do? What is chemistry intervention in forestry research? Forest uh, is around more than 12% of our total land. And it's a big place where uh, so much has to be contributed because we have to manage forest, we have to utilize the forest. And beside forest in uh, main agriculture land also, there are uh, trees and medicinal plants and other things. So for that also, uh, it's the same group who can contribute in the forestry sector as well as in the agricultural sector. So in forestry sector, if I uh, focus on, so there are, these are some of the fields where directly if uh, chemistry people contributes into, into, into the forestry research. First, the most important is the natural product chemistry. So 
So natural product chemistry means all plant material, how it is utilized or what the benefits we can take out of those. We normally uh, study in this natural product chemistry. Then we have pulp and paper. This is an industrial field uh, where we know the paper is made out of wood. Wood is uh, converted into paper and by pulping and this uh, thing. So in uh, forestry, uh, trees and this uh, agro waste are very much required for pulp and paper technology. So it's a chemistry people and chemical engineering people who contribute to the paper pulp and paper technology. Uh, we all use papers in big quantities. So it is all some somewhere back, some chemist or chem chemical engineering people are involved in it. Then we have environmental chemistry. Environmental chemistry is a global warming issue is a very serious issue. Uh, and environment uh, has been given a top priority these days. Then we have soil chemistry people. Soil chemistry people particularly, they contribute towards the soil uh, uh, characteristics. Soil uh, make a lot of difference when we grow plants into it. So the chemical nature of the soil is very important. Uh, uh, that is information, important information that is required. So here also chemistry people, they join this soil chemistry research. Then we have allied uh, groups like biochemistry. You work on enzymes and they also do chemical reactions. They control chemical reaction. All biological reactions are controlled by an enzyme. Or particularly, we can say a DNA and a gene. Gene produces an enzyme, con contributes for an information for an enzyme, and then a chemical reaction takes place. So biochemistry is a very, very uh, important field. Uh, and it's uh, not only in human uh, in life sciences it is used, it is for industry also, they apply it. Then there are other fields where you uh, can people contribute in uh, chemistry people, they contribute in biotechnology, research, tissue culture also, pathology, entomology, entomology is animal science, uh, 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 this insect science, and then plant physiology, seed technology, seed technology, they, the chemistry people, they normally help in, uh, uh, seeing that how you can have a uh, seed easily that can be germinated. Sometimes dormancies and other things are there. So that has to be tackled. Then you have wood science people. Wood science people, they work on the wood aspect uh, and we will be dealing it, with it in other slides. Now to feel about how, what are the fields forest contributes to our day-to-day -day life. What are the things we get from forest? So these are few things I have mentioned here, like gums. We get gums, exuberated gums from trees. We get resins like pine tree, it gives resins. Then we have tannins and we have natural dyes. You, you must have heard about natural dyes. It's, uh, these days, a lot of debate that we should use more of natural dyes than synthetic dyes. Then medicinal plants is a very big field. All Ayurveda, Yunani, and other um, pathies, or even modern science, they they use herbs, medicinal plants for uh, for uh, human health. Then we have aromatic plants. So aromatic plants, you we all know about arom uh, aroma, the plants which can provide aroma ar aroma uh, compounds. Uh, they are very uh, used in different uh, cosmetics and other fields. Then we have fatty oils, fatty oils, oils and fats, edible products. We have starches. Uh, we have got gums. We we get uh, uh, tubers and so many things from forest that can be used as edible. Then fiber and flosses, fiber and flosses, paper industry, uh, and uh, even uh, textile industry. They 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 look into the fiber aspect more and other fields also they use fiber bamboos and cane bamboos is another application field here here also in from forest we get things uh, which are of animal origin other than plant origin and uh, lac is one thing lac and shellac honey bee wax is used tasa silk is also we know it and skins hides and feathers Though they are, means it's, uh, should not kill an animal to get these things. It's just when they, and then other things, horns, bones, shells, ivory, and musk. These are the 
things which are of plant origin with, that we get from forest. Now, coming to uh, as a chemist, where what are the fields where we have worked on, and uh, in uh, these are some research activities that we are doing at present or we have done in the recent past at uh, FRI uh, in chemistry department and pulp and paper department. I was associated with both the departments. So I worked on the some of these and some of the uh, work has been done in the department that was of uh, importance to the or the uh, for you all. So I have mentioned them also. So now coming to the first uh, uh, topic there are carbohydrates now carbohydrates we all know we are we have must have uh, read about carbohydrates and the most important is starch because we uh, we need starch and glucose for our day to day energy requirements and other uh, reasons so but starch is one thing which we eat but besides starch there are so many things in carbohydrates that a chemist look into uh, when he is carrying out research and you want to utilize the carbohydrates. The second most important is cellulose, which we get. Cell wall we know is made up of cellulose. So all plants, they have cellulose in their cell wall and this plant cellulose as a chemical or as a fiber, having a cellulose cell wall is being utilized. Then we have mucilage and gums. Then we have seed gums is another very big field. Most of the people we are not aware of the seed. What is seed gums? We know exuberant gums that we get from the tree. When we hit a tree or otherwise also, a gum comes out. So it's the exuberant trees, it's gums. But seed gum is another big field. And seed gum mainly it is uh, the, uh, uh, the sugar composition is galactose and mannose. We call it galactomannan. And seed gums have a unique property that in a very little quantity, it gives a very high mu uh, mucus or mucilage. For example, if I want to uh, have a thick uh, of uh, one liter of uh, water have a, or a juice, and I want to make it a thick uh, uh, as a thickener, so uh, I can I need only two grams or few grams of the seed gums, and it will be a thick, big mucilage, and it may give a different feel when I consume that uh, juice. Another field we worked on are the dietary fibers. Dietary fibers, again, uh, we know that uh, when we take starch, we consume it. But when we take other than starch, other carbohydrates like cellulose, seed gums, mucilages, they may not be digested. And the and the carbohydrates that are not digested and other things also as well, they are classified into dietary fiber and these are required as a bulking agents many times uh, we need less energy but we need that we should uh, feel that we have eaten the bowel feel the feeling should be there so uh, we need dietary fiber in those cases as a bulking agent then biofuel is another field where we have contributed we are contributing and we know that uh, bioethanol is in big demand nowadays we, the government wants that in the world it is happening that uh, uh, there is a crisis for petrol and diesel the prices are uh, rising every time and we are importing almost about one third of our imports uh, for petrol and diesel and uh, petroleum products so if we can replace from a renewable source these petrol or diesel something within the country it's it's good for environment and good for our we will have to less than less import uh, the from other countries so bioethanol blending is being taking place in petrol right now up to 5 to 10% government is uh, uh, mixing uh, this bioethanol into the petrol and uh, but future plan says that they want to increase this percentage and uh, so that we are in less need of the uh, petroleum products. So, 
then uh, we know this uh, petroleum products for getting petroleum products we need to have our oil well drillings and there also a lot of chemicals are being used so we have we have made an attempt to contribute to our drilling chemicals then biopesticides neem is well known for biopesticides then there are other fields tamarind kernel for tamarind is imli imli that seed inside the kernel of this tamarind uh, its powder is a very uh, uh, important industrial product and have applications in so many fields as a thickener as a binder uh, like in textile industry and then we have natural dyes katha biocompost etc so i come to the some of the so i i, I will be just sharing uh, about, uh, under these uh, different fields i will be just sharing how a chemistry person looks when he works in these fields how he uh, how he understands and what he looks into what is research in chemistry about so these 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 uh, compounds we are well familiar with glucopyranose sucrose sugar that we are well uh, very well known to us these compounds but then we go to another compound it is a cellulose now cellulose uh, we all know that uh, plant cell wall the major difference between the animal wall and the plant wall is cellulose wall of cellulose and it is the most abundant biopolymer in the world if you see if you say what the most maximum amount of biopolymer available to us from the nature is cellulose now if we look at a wood the tree tree that a wood it's a, a section of a wood now it it if we want to classify the chemist chemistry point of view it contains three major parts one is the cellulose which is, which is in maximum point, uh, amount then we have hemicellulose and we have a lignin and these are the basic building blocks of these different chemicals if we see a cell wall it is a mixture of these three now i will show you here is a mixture these rods are cellulose then we have hemicellulose and then we have lignin is three compounds these were the cellulose in this if you see this these are cellulose then we have hemicellulose and lignin now if we go further deep into it cellulose is one term then we as a chemist we see that okay cellulose is but it's just cellulose the same everywhere no it's not again it's very so different it's uh, again classified into cellulose 1 2 3 Four, then again, cellulose one divided into cellulose one a alpha beta like that, and uh, cellulose we know is the straight chain of uh, beta di glucose pyranose. But then, what is the difference between the cellulose one, two, three, four, and what is the importance to a chemist uh, to know about these things? It's basically the difference in its uh, cellulose is a highly crystalline molecule. Crystalline means uh, the chains are arranged parallelly. and they are joined to each other by hydrogen bonding now this so it's form a crystal we can say it's a crystal when it it has a repeating un, uh, ch chain unit it's it's a crystal then what is the difference between cellulose 1 and 2 it's just that this crystal has different type of hydrogen bonding between two chains of cellulose and that makes them different when we use cellulose as a chemical for making other chemicals or for is making a structural thing so these are again as a chemist we want to know how many type of cellulose and then further what is what are the other arrangements and we do this uh, crystallinity is checked by this uh, xrd x ray diffractometer we use to know the crystallinity nature of the cellulose now another field uh, in, in the previous uh, uh, work we have in in our lab we have used different methods because we, uh, to obtain cellulose 2 from cellulose 1 and also we have worked on how to prevent converting from cellulose 1 to cellulose 2 suppose cellulose 1 is the one which is which we found in the nature suppose we don't want to change its nature 
and we want to use it as it as it is so we have a method some chemicals that we can add and we can retain the crystallinity of this cellulose as cellulose 1 but if we want to use it as cellulose 2 we can have a methodology we have chemicals which helps in transformation of cellulose 1 crystallinity to cellulose 2 so that was the aim for us and we did these studies and now coming to another application uh, we know pectins, uh, we know gems and jellies. So, for pectins are used as a cross linking and it provides a jelly, jam, jelly structure, the uh, jams we eat. And, and then many other pharmaceutical applications, it's used as a thickener and other properties. So, uh, we uh, citrus peel and apple pumice are many, uh, these are the um, main uh, plant material from which pectin is isolated but there are many more plant material from which pectin are isolated and can be isolated so this this was another uh, one plant this is diaspora paragina this is called tendu in uh, so So it's a very big source of for pectin. So we, we have isolated pectin from it. And these were the different ripening stages of pectin. Then it becomes very important from which stage you want the uh, pectin to be isolated. Like uh, uh, we understand mango very well. So there is a green mango, which is very hard. And then there is a ripe mango, which is very soft. And you can see the color change also is there. So the pectin, which is in the green one, is very different from the ripe one. Unripe pectin is different from the. The re, uh, reason is it takes slightly the en enzymatic activity of pectin as a few enzymes. And uh, the fruit softening take place and the pectin in the cell wall, they get degraded. So we don't want pectin to be isolated from this one. We prefer this one or this one. So we have to find out we, uh, the characteristics of pectin from all different stages of fruits. If we want to isolate pectin from the fruits, we not want to know at which stage we should ha harvest it. And for this, we have uh, we take different uh, maturity stage of the fruit, and it is done by tagging the uh, fruit initiation time. Then we calculate the days. Okay, how many days, and then we decide. Now another field is seed gums, as I have told you. Uh, it's a very interesting thing that India exports, India is the biggest exporter of seed gums. And uh, this many people don't uh, know this thing. Uh, we ex export up to, sometimes even up to, means just less than 1% of our total exports in revenue, the seed gums alone. So these seed gums contribute a lot to the Indian economy. That is after meeting our next, our own demand, uh, the country demand. And it's a high price product these days. And uh, we, we, uh, the requirement the, as a, for a chemist, the requirement is to look for new sources of seed gums, then application of seed gums in different aspects. So this was the one plant process with Julifura. We worked on this seed gum from this also beside already known plants and this it's a arid zone plant grows vigorously in almost all the tough terrains uh, where nothing grows so its seed has a very rich amount of seed gum and that can be used so Another uh, galactomannan application we worked up on uh, the dietary fiber. Dietary fiber, as I told you, is the part of the carbohydrate which don't get digested, and as a as a bulking, it acts as a bulking agent. And uh, so the problem uh, using it galactomannan, the seed gum as a dietary fiber was that seed gums are very viscous and 
it viscosity has to be decreased by depolymerizing it and that chain has to be the carboid chain has to be cut down into smaller se segments and may, and it becomes a, a low viscosity soluble uh, material and even world world health organization recommends around 18 to 35 grams of dietary fiber per day so it's a big uh, requirement and we worked on this and here the the challenge was that uh, this is the chain of this galactomannan uh, polysaccharide and we, it's a galactose sugar and then you have the mannose chain and then you re need these two enzymes alpha d galactosidase beta d minus now if you want to uh, use a commercial enzyme it is very very costly so the work we did we said okay why not extract it from a germinating plant of seed of uh, these terms so we took different stages of like you can see that these are different stages of germination of a seed these are seed of the again guar gum we have taken and cashetora gum we have cashetora seeds we have taken and they both are source of galactomannan polysaccharide and uh, uh, if, if if we take out the enzyme from the seed itself it has these two enzymes which uh, depolymerize the galactomannan so that's why we have taken different stages of these seed gums and the meeting stages of and we have calculated which uh, from which stage we can extract the enzyme we have extracted enzyme from all these stages and then it was required to optimize which stage is best so that we can extract the enzyme and use to depolymerize the uh, sugar molecule galactomannan polymer so that it can be used as dietary fiber the another field is where we are contributing is working on these these are bioethanol and this bioethanol is a alternative energy renewable energy and we can make bioethanol from sugar solutions from molasses we know from sugar cane molasses it's being made but that is not in sufficient quantity so we need to use another source of sugar and the another source of sugar uh, can be starch and cellulose both are polymer of glucose uh, unit which can be depolymerized and we can get this glucose unit and get it uh, fermented for getting bioethanol but the problem is that uh, government of india doesn't want uh, food material to be used as for bioethanol because then that food crisis because our is a big country in brazil and other places they are using starches for making bioethanol but in our country they don't prefer food material to be used as uh, starting material for making bioethanol so we have worked on we have concentrated more on cellulose then cellulose we don't uh, use as a food material so then these are the something about forest resources how much potential we have and ethanol uh, type of uh, like how how much it is used at present in different uh, fuel as an industrial chemical or as a beverage then uh, these are something about telling about the use uh, making of ethanol from lignocellulose biomass these are three uh, different uh, challenges if you take biomass directly uh, molasses then we can ferment it but if you are using a starch product then we need a two stage process and if you are using a cellulose or lignocellulose biomass we need a, a pre treatment is required so these are something uh, the met the sequence of how we uh, from this lignocellulose biomass we make ethanol we, we have worked on some bio based like lantana is a weed and then we have pine pine needles pine forest are there in at higher altitudes and this is the process and this was the overall process from where we started with a biomass and then we hydrolyzed it and got a hydrolyzed and then this this state we cannot have a fermentation uh, to this uh, there are so many uh, toxins phenolics that get um, uh, that get produced during the digestion of the biomass so those are to be removed then we do the fermentation then we again get a fermentation product then it that has to be distilled and we get the biomass we have also used banana stem which is uh, left out after that banana is harvested and you uh, and uh, process it for getting bioethanol and these were the banana 
it's a pseudo stem you call it pseudo stem it's same okay and these are the other extracts banana juice banana juice extract and banana stem juice extract and which was fermented to get the null then we are also this glucose molecules we can get from other pre treatment methods also where we don't digest the whole biomass but we do a pre treatment and we can get the sugar molecules then uh, coming to pulp and paper we have made uh, this handmade papers this parthenium is a weed it's a nuisance uh, it's uh, allergic uh, it produce allergies and it just go grows everywhere we have, must have seen it somewhere uh, near these road sides or agricultural fields lantana was another thing which was a problem so we have used the stem of both the biomass of both the things now we have come now i'm talking about the paper pulp and paper field where a chemist contributes so we have processed these and made successfully made good uh, tiles and other sheets these are the process that we uh, use these materials and we made paper tiles out of it this was a process for making hand paper handmade paper from these products and there are many other biomass that we have used it this is a general thing how uh, handmade paper uh, industry looks like you have plant material then you have processing thing and you get the hand sheets then they are dried and then we can make different products out of it we have also worked uh, on the application this neem biopesticides now neem biopesticide neem plant we must have seen and these are the seeds and then we get a kernel in, inside the seed now these neem is the so far among the uh, plants known for uh, no, uh, no, known for providing biopesticide neem comes number 1 and the reason is the con content of this compound azadirectin chemical in the neem seeds and when uh, it is applied in the field for as a insecticides see uh, 3 ppm concentration is required only 3 ppm concentration required or that to have a uh, insect uh, anti uh, insecticidal activity so these are many formulation which are available in the market if we need uh, they are used by farmers my suggestion would be that uh, we can buy these products as well as if we have a neem tree nearby we can also just uh, take the seeds grind it properly put it in one bucket of water and spray it it will be ha having more than 3 ppm of uh, in it so if it is a, there is a neem tree i have seen neem tree and uh, so many seeds lying down nobody is using it so definitely uh, if we, we can buy these products or if we have a neem tree we can collect those seeds just grind them mix it in water and spray the liquid and uh, it it will have a, a better effect rather at many, many times then there are small these are katha we know that we if we take a uh, pan we the katha is used very much in other industries also pharmaceutical industry also so in it is not my work it's a uh, work of my colleague he worked on the uh, alternate uh, material from which katha can be produced uh, this tamarind kernel is another uh, field where our department uh, colleagues have worked on and the seed of the uh, seed kernel of the tamarind uh, seed is a very uh, industrial uh, is a very and in our department they have used try to use the seed powder as a they have developed a methodology where that powder can be con, uh, a pectin sort of a polysaccharide replacement pact can be made and you can have a very good gel made out of it then cashew nut gum this is galactomannan and gum which proculents we have worked on then compost a shorter uh it's and these these four five work last i'm showing it's of my uh, friends who have worked colleagues who have worked in the department it's a it's a the requirement was to prepare compost in a shorter time so that it becomes cost effective so a process was developed and patented and 
these are the like agarbatti that binder jigat binder is called jigat and a alternative material was required so that was made natural dyes uh, in our department when dr rakesh uh, uh, he, he is he, he is a, he has worked extensively on natural dyes from different plant materials and uh, he has prepared herbal guba gulal and then uh, different colors shades these are from pot finest of today so i uh, this that was uh, i wanted to share with you and this is the photograph of my department and where i work thank you very much thank you so much sir so dr gupta is the keynote speaker and the guest of honor so we all are privileged to have some time of yours and uh, to learn uh, so much about uh, forest and agricultural and uh, the, uh, the in the field of chemistry how uh, it can work so thank you so much sir for enlightening uh, every one of us so if anyone has questions they can ask in the comment box so there is a question from suraj singh okay. he is asking that uh, can we join drdo or isro without mathematics in our uh, pl uh, plus 2 uh it's a very interesting question uh, in drdo or isro without mathematics another thing is without mathematics and what other field you said sir uh, isro drdo and isro. only isro. without mathematics ji ji without mathematics uh, uh, i must say mathematics uh, is very important for these two departments but uh, there are people who join drdo and if they want to join the mainstream research then still they can have uh, in drdo i know many people who work on like soldiers they need uh, clothes uh, uh, which have different properties so they 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 don't require a mathematician to work on they need a chemist and in isro also if they are working on mis, uh, materials and the fuel so they need a chemist so definitely without mathematics also uh, there is there must be a intake of uh, people from other streams thank you sir sir next question is from mohammed salman he is asking that uh, can we apply for forensic science after bsc uh yes i think uh, at uh, i would prefer it, i i have not checked at, uh, after graduation in what subject they take but they they forensic departments they need people from almost all fields whether it's uh, psychology it's a chemistry it's uh, other fields because they need to investigate on so many aspects so they need people from distance teams after graduation also there must be some intake but depends uh, what they advertise and when they advertise yes sir thank you sir so next question is from molly paul and uh, she is asking ki in all types of crop neem bio pesticides are useful or not for all type of uh, crop uh, neem neem bio ji neem bio pesticides are useful because they uh, it's not the crop it matters it's the insect which has to be stopped from attacking the plant so insect basically uh, it's a it's the bio pesticide work on the insect more so uh, definitely neem pesticides bio pesticides can be well uh, it can be tried on almost all plants i must say it may uh, uh, vary on insect the content and the impact may vary from insect uh, from plant to plant or from insect to insect Uh, i must uh, contribute this thing this uh, anelida this uh, where you got 
worms and this uh, they are i have uh, uh, seen that the uh, neem compounds are very very effective against this uh, group so whether it's with in, in inside the human being or on this in this while they, they work very well neem pesticide work so they can be very well used and definitely one bio pesticide neem pesticide is used so is extensively people can try it thank you sir sir uh, last question from rashmi radwal she is asking that uh, energy can't be created and nor be destroyed we all know that so she is asking ki what about human energy after death Uh, what what is that last thing you said? So she is asking that human energy after death, what happens to that human energy? Uh, means uh, human energy. If she, if she is talking in the in terms of uh, biological process that keeps taking inside a human being, uh, is slowly because that blood blood circulation stops then the movement of all the chemicals oxygen and anything all other compounds they stop and slowly all the cell will going to die in the, in the, in the living organism and if, if she is asking about soul and other thing i am not <laughs> even uh, uh, having a op opinion on that thing yes, sir thank you sir so i think we are finished with this question and answer round so uh, thank you so much sir for giving thank us you. your thank valuable you, time thank you mr thank you sir so our uh, next speaker is dr prashant singh assistant professor department of chemistry dav college dehradun he'll be speaking on the topic role of chemistry in environment for mankind uh, he has phd from university of rurki and uh, in total he have 79 journal publications and uh, he has presented research papers also and uh, in total they are 117 and uh, he's a member of scientific uh, various scientific organizations in total 17 like rac fri deemed university dehradun and uh, he's the life member of isca nesa like these organizations scientific organizations so i would uh, request sir to share your uh, valuable knowledge and views on the topic role of chemistry in environment for mankind thank you mera and uh, let me share my screen first i hope uh, you are able to see my screen now yes okay so let let us start with my uh, topic that is role of chemistry in environment for mankind let me introduce myself first again i am dr prashant singh associate professor in the department of chemistry dav pg college dehradun and i am also coordinator of uttarakhand council for science and technology at dehradun working for him working for you cost anyway let me start uh, about the role of chemistry uh, as you all know chemistry is a science which relates with our daily life and they, there are many chemicals which play important role in science and, and uh, enhancing our knowledge as well so in fact there is a foundation chemical sciences is a foundation to study other branches of sciences as well no branch in uh, any of the domain of basic and applied sciences which uh, which is not uh, in one way or other way is utilizing the chemical science so i will explain some uses of chemicals in our daily life or chemical processes in our daily life besides importance of chemistry in environment which is serving uh, mankind or society in one or another field so going to the first example let me come to the agriculture field in this field chemicals are used by the farmers or by people at garden or in the field in the form of pesticides insecticides and fertilizers the farmer uses these chemical substances for their plant so that they can achieve best results and that at the time of harvesting uh, these are uh, for example insecticides fungicides bactericides rodent uh, rodenticides herbicides 
these all kills different types of insects grasshoppers uh, prevents growth of fungus viruses uh, rodents like rats mouses or hamster and also uh, farmers use the uh, these type of herbicides to kill bushes or grasses and weeds so there are many industries which uh, develop these insecticides and other type of chemicals under this category and a uh, person having a chemistry knowledge or a degree or postgraduate degree or phd degree in chemical sciences can go to either of these industries which produces these type of chemicals so there is ample scope in agricultural field using the chemical sciences coming to the next medicine field chemicals are very helpful uh, uh, in one way or another way to doctors to diagnose many chemical reactions on the patient such as in digestion process respiration excretion and other uh, many biological processes of uh, human or other animals as well so chemicals also has or also have an essential role in plant making and developing the medicines which are made based on research on chemical reactions towards the diseases of uh, which falls under the category of pharmaceutical chemistry which is found in many aspects inside the medicine life this pharmaceutical science is used for studying of medicines such as health tests uses the chemical science the making of bioinsecticides and making of synthetic materials for replacing bones and tools these all are the applications of chemicals uh, in the field of uh, med medicinal field so chemical analysis at the hospital laboratory or in pathology also utilizes the chemical substances to, to check the infections in the blood sample very types of tests which you uh, undertake uh, after the suggestion or the prescription of your treating doctor pathology uh, tests are conducted and and a number of test results are given to you these are all based on the theory or application of the chemical sciences Uh, in the present context, the HIV and corona viruses like COVID-19 can be checked and ensured by using particular chemical substances and being practiced right now in the pandemic of COVID-19. They are all uh, they all uh, use the chemical substances or reactions in it. The medical world will always see and use chemicals as num as number one substances. Means what I mean to say is uh, in the medicinal field all the uh domains of the medical field are using one way or another in one way or another way and amongst all those means chemicals are number one so coming to the next field uh industrial field the chemical has been uh, inside the industrial world for decades since it is one of the important elements that are in their products which are massively used by the people those who are producer they cannot avoid chemistry in either of the way almost every product that the factory or any industry creates there will always be a chemical reaction chemical substance or chemical material in it uh, in uh, in any of the steps for production of any uh, item or industrial uh, product there will always be chemical reaction in the industrial system such as making of cement paints etc high technology industries also cannot avoid chemical science and, and they generally use different chemical materials which include ceramics electronics specialty reagents glasses paint and solvents metals and alloys petrochemical feed stock paper pharmaceuticals plastic rubbers and synthetic fibers so all these type of industries are using chemicals chemical reaction chemical substances chemical materials in one way or another way and they need the expert person or the persons having and expertise or skills in chemical sciences having either uh, chemistry as one of the subject at graduate level or at the post graduate level so there is ample scope or ample uh, career opportunities uh, uh, in case we study chemistry or uh, allied like pharmaceutical chemistry so coming to the archaeological field archaeological field also utilizes the chemical sciences uh, in the start of the, any of the Uh, any of their work the archaeological you uh, archaeologists use chemical reactions to measure the age of the fossil using the radioisotope carbon 14 this is a very well known uh, application of the uh, chemical sciences in archaeology they also use various chemicals to clean the surface and get rid of the dirt from the fossil without damaging them this is also the role which is being played by the chemicals or chemical sciences Uh, in order to protect some uh, archaeological monument or other uh, such uh, things which are uh, searched by archaeologists 
so coming to the geology field geology science studies about the research of stones minerals and gas mining and oils this process to determine what are the minerals elements in the first stage in order to explore any such type of geological uh, stone mineral or gas or oil utilizes the basics of the chemical sciences only then they can they can utilize or they can confirm that the at the given place or under the uh, rock or under the uh, you can say earth surface there are some desired chemicals or substances like uh, gas or oil of any sort for which they are looking more moreover the benefit of the chemical sciences in this field is to help and to understand about the finding of minerals stones and natural things in order to search the spot that can be explored later moreover these the geology geochemical investigations also help in spotting the uh, place where the exploration of oil and petrol should be done or can be done or can be exploited for commercial uh, uses and commercial uh, you can say uh, commercial uh, utilization so household application chemistry also is there in each uh, each household in each household so chemical reaction exists in our household applications for example soaps and detergents clean which contain fat and oil soap emulsifies grim and uh, later on soap can be lifted by the water and there is a chemical substance that can there are some chemicals uh, substances which can get rid of the bacteria besides washing in detergents chemical reaction is functioned as a surfactant which can lower the surface of the surface tension of the water so it can interact with the oil and then isolate them and rinse them away many things are also there at our home in the form of chemical substances or chemical reactions for example shampoo car or motorcycle cleaner shoes polish floor cleaner etc day, day by day we are getting new products uh, in shops and uh, shopping malls and they are of much importance and they they give very good cleaning and very good hygiene as well every day chemical reactions are happening in our life the fire that comes from the gas stove the bus that delivers you to the college or university with the burning fuels uh, they also uh, comes under the combustion process which is again a chemical reaction so chemical reaction or chemical sciences or chemistry is uh, touching our day to day life at household level as well and for these application or the product development or the manufacturing or the product being used at home again chemistry people or chemistry degree holders are required and chemistry is a science of uh, science uh, which is giving maximum number of career options or job opportunities coming to the next environmental field the production processing and use of chemicals in modern society have been accomplished by global scale environmental pollution natural resource resource depletion and health impacts so one of the core field uh, is the depletion of the stratospheric ozone layer by chlorofluorocarbon and the bioaccumulation of chlorinated organic pesticides in the food chain demonstrated the need of more consideration of the potential impacts of the chemical use in the society and industries have been successfully replaced uh these chemicals through new synthetic chemicals which are not anyway harmful either to the stratosphere or ozone layer chemists are expected to fulfill our demands for innovative products and to focus on their research efforts focused on the development of less toxic products with the specific functional property as have been already quoted coming to the last aspect water chemistry water chemistry analysis analysis are carried out to identify and quantify the chemical components and properties of water samples the type of sensitivity and analysis depends upon the purpose of the analysis and anticipated use of the water so in water chemistry there is ample scope and enormous scope where uh, chemistry uh, students can work in uh, because water chemistry is one of the allied or applied part of the chemistry so chemical water analysis carried out on water used in the industrial processes on river and streams or rainfall or on the sea because through water quality monitoring we can find out whether any particular source is uh, can be used for drinking purpose or bathing purpose or other designated purposes like industrial use or washing of the industrial parts the analytical parameters selected are chosen to be appropriate or decision making process or to establish acceptable normality water chemistry analysis is often the groundwork for studies of water quality pollution and hydrology because water pollution is the uh, one of the core uh, potential areas of present time through which we can uh, ascertain whether any uh, water uh, source being used for public supply is uh, health uh, is uh, not harmful to the public health or society 
analytical methods routinely used is uh, used can detect and measure all natural elements and their inorganic compounds through various types of technologies or advanced analytical methods such as gas chromatography and mass spectrophotometry icp double as etc so coming to the conclusion part last but not the least chemical science has given us many benefits if we can use it wisely together with our environment thus there are many importance of chemistry in environment serving the mankind around the globe not not only in india and uttarakhand besides chemical sciences chemistry gives highest opportunities for job and better career options than any other discipline in basic or in applied sciences this is this was all about uh, my lecture and content of the my talk so i would like to thank uh, organizers especially professor varsha parja for giving me an opportunity to interact you and to deliver uh, my opinion uh, through this webinar to the participants of this uh, workshop come uh, webinar thank you very much this is all about from my side thank you so much sir i hope after listening to you students will go for uh, chemistry for sure and uh, they are clear with their thoughts and what to do uh, after graduation and uh, what to choose in the field of chemistry so sir we have some questions okay uh, ashwini dogra she uh, he is asking that after bsc honors what he can do if uh, in msc chemistry so which subject he can choose after Actually, bsc well, honors if he has done bsc honors with chemistry he has left with a uh, most potential option option as msc chemistry only because uh, in graduation if he would have done normal bsc with pcm or cvz then he could have opted uh, either of the subject at graduate level but after completion of bsc honors in case it is chemistry then he should go for the msc chemistry only because through this way he will get maximum opportunities of jobs uh, i i cannot see any industry where chemistry people uh, maybe of graduate or post graduate is not required so uh, undoubtedly he should opt and he should go for msc chemistry msc chemistry is available in number of institutes at dehradun as well as across the country yes, thank you sir so the next question is from uh, molly paul he is asking that can we count the age of tree uh, through carbon 14 yes definitely through c c14 dating in case she desires more information she can write to you and you can write to me i will send her the detailed uh, process how a carbon dating c14 dating can be helpful in determining the age of as it is uh, utilized in age of uh, rocks it can be utilized for the dating of the carbon dating of the wood uh, as well okay thank you sir so the next question is from kashish sharma he is asking that uh, which is the fastest growing sector in chemistry undoubtedly pharma sector in present covid situation the rise and uh, maximum opportunities are in the pharma sector pharmaceutical chemistry and chemical Uh, either of the area will give the maximum career or uh, you can say job opportunities or better options for the you can say better uh, jo uh, career because in no way in, in any of the sector where covid situation in government has banned a number of other opportunities but health sector is being promoted health sector is undoubtedly associated with chemical sciences as well as pharmaceutical sciences and uh, other allied sciences which which like plastic industry pp kits and other things are going on so undoubtedly chemi chemists have much better option even in the time of pandemic like covid through not which is not affecting uh, our uttarakhand but also our nation as well as uh, the globe okay thank you sir thank you so we have finished with the questions so i hope after listening to you everyone uh, every student is clear with his or her thoughts okay so thank, thank you so much sir thank you so much as well to all organizers of your institute and your management and all the participants wish you all the best thank you so much sir so our next speaker is dr abhishek gupta associate professor 
professor department of chemistry dbs pg college dehradun he'll be speaking on the topic scope and career in chemistry he has a uh, teaching experience of more than 10 years and he has more than 10 publications in both national and international journals so i would uh, like to request dr abhishek gupta to share his uh, thoughts on the scope and career in chemistry thank you hello everyone welcome to all first of all i will give my thanks to shri arvind gupta chairman dolphin institute dr shailja pant principal of dolphin institute and convener of the program dr varsha patcha to organize a, such a great and useful e learning event in the form of webinar for our students as well as me too i am also thanks to give th thanks to uh, my co uh, speaker uh, dr pk gupta and uh, prashant uh, dr prashant singh ki unhone bahut hi valuable jankari di hai jisse main bhi aur sath mein hamare students bhi labhanvit hue hain ये पीपीटी और आज हम बात करेंगे अपने स्कोप एंड कैरियर इन केमिस्ट्री एज वी नो केमिस्ट्री द ब्रांच ऑफ साइंस दैट इन्वॉल्व द स्टडी ऑफ मैटर इट्स कंपोजिशन स्ट्रक्चर प्रॉपर्टी एंड रिएक्टिविटी विद अदर एलिमेंट्स देयर फोर आपको सब पीपीटी रन हो पा रही है मुझे यहां पीपीटी रन नहीं दिखाई दे रही है
यस सॉरी फॉर इंट्रप्शन ये शेयरिंग में प्रॉब्लम आ गई थी अब हम स्टार्ट करते हैं अपने टॉपिक पे सबसे पहले मैं बात करूंगा इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ केमिस्ट्री जैसे कि हम जानते हैं केमिस्ट्री द ब्रांच ऑफ साइंस दैट इन्वॉल्व द स्टडी ऑफ मैटर इट्स कंपोजिशन स्ट्रक्चर प्रॉपर्टी एंड रिएक्टिविटी विद अदर एलिमेंट्स देयर फोर हम कह सकते हैं केमिस्ट्री इज द सोल ऑफ ऑल साइंसेस केमिस्ट्री कैन हेल्प टू अंडरस्टैंड द वर्ल्ड अराउंड यू केमिस्ट्री से हम सब कुछ जो हम आज खाते हैं जो हम स्मेल करते हैं जो टच करते हैं ये सब किसी ना किसी केमिकल या केमिकल रिएक्शन के द्वारा ही पॉसिबल होता है जैसे फॉर एग्जांपल हम सुबह सबसे पहले उठते हैं तो अपने किचन में चाय बनाने के लिए बर्नर ऑफ कर ऑन करते हैं तो हमें पता लगता है कि अगर वो बर्नर येलो फ्लेम के साथ जल रहा है तो यानी कि रिड्यूसिंग फ्लेम है और ब्लू के साथ जल रहा है तो ऑक्सीडाइजिंग ये सब हम अपनी बी में स्टूडेंट्स को एम में सिखा देते हैं तो ये सब चीजें हमें बताती है डेली लाइफ में कैसे हमें केमिस्ट्री हमसे जुड़ी हुई है हम आजकल तो कोरोना वायरस ने साबुन का सबको एप्लीकेशन सिखा दिया है क्योंकि कोरोना वायरस कोई भी वायरस होता है उसका जो अपर लेयर आउटर लेयर होती है वो फॉसोलिफिट की होती है और सोप सोप का जो हाइड्रोफोबिक एंड होता है वो उसके साथ रिएक्ट करके उसको ब्रेक कर देता है जिससे कि कोरोना वायरस साबुन के साबुन से धोने के बाद वो चला जाता है सेम ऐसे ही एंटासिड की जो गोलियां हम लोग खाते हैं खाने से हमें रिलीफ मिलता है क्योंकि एंटासिड में एल्कली सॉल्ट मिले हुए होते हैं जिससे कि जब स्टमक में एसिड लेवल इंक्रीज करता है तो सॉल्ट एल्कली सॉल्ट जाके उसको न्यूट्रलाइज कर देते हैं तो ये कुछ जनरल एग्जांपल्स हैं जो हमें ये बताते हैं कि किस तरीके से केमिस्ट्री हमारी डेली लाइफ से जुड़ी हुई है तो इसके साथ ऐसे ही हमारे इसके स्कोप भी बढ़ते चले जाते हैं स्कोप ऑफ केमिस्ट्री स्कोप ऑफ केमिस्ट्री को जब हम बात करते हैं तो क्वालिटी एजुकेशन ऑफ केमिस्ट्री ओपन मल्टीट्यूड ऑफ डोर फॉर स्टूडेंट फॉर अ वराइटी ऑफ एजुकेशनल और प्रोफेशनल अपॉर्चुनिटीज जित, जितने ज्यादा केमिस्ट्री में स्कोप है वो किसी भी दूसरी प्लेन साइंस की डिसिप्लिन में नहीं है जैसे इसके कोर्सेज को हम यूजली अपने इंडिया की हम बात करें तो तीन क्लासेस में हमारे यहां कोर्सेज को डिस्ट्रीब्यूट किया गया है पहला है डिग्री कोर्सेज जो नियरली सेवेंटी परसेंट अवेलेबल है इंडिया सेकेंड डिप्लोमा कोर्सेज जो नियरली ट्वेंटी परसेंट के आसपास आते हैं और सर्टिफिकेट कोर्सेज अभी भी लेस देन टेन परसेंट अवेलेबल रहते हैं डिग्री कोर्सेज को अगर हम गौर से देखते हैं तो इसमें हमारे पास बीएससी कोर्सेज से शुरू करते हैं तो बीएससी पीसीएम सीबीजेड ऑनर्स केमिस्ट्री इंडस्ट्रियल केमिस्ट्री बीएससी इन फॉरेस्ट्री फॉरेंसिक साइंस मेडिसिनल केमिस्ट्री मेडिकल टेक्नोलॉजी इसके अलावा हमारे पास एमएससी के कोर्सेज जो आते हैं जो डिग्री कोर्सेज हैं केमिस्ट्री सब्जेक्ट के साथ उसमें एमएससी केमिस्ट्री ऑर्गेनिक इन ऑर्गेनिक एंड फिजिकल केमिस्ट्री से एमएससी इन अप्लाइड केमिस्ट्री एमएससी इन फार्मास्यूटिकल केमिस्ट्री और फार्मास्यूटिकल केमिस्ट्री सबसे इस वक्त सबसे बेस्ट कोर्स की श्रेणी में है और ये क्योंकि जैसे कोरोना वायरस में आप सब ने देखा है कि सबसे ज्यादा फार्मास्यूटिकल इंडस्ट्री ने ग्रोथ करी है तो इस वक्त एमएससी फार्मास्यूटिकल केमिस्ट्री सबसे ज्यादा पॉपुलर हो रखा है जिसको हम अगर करते हैं तो उसमें निश्चित तौर पर सबसे बेस्ट कैरियर ऑप्शन हमें मिलते हैं इसके अलावा एमएससी इन पॉलीमर केमिस्ट्री एमएससी इन टॉक्सिकोलॉजी एमएससी इन हॉस्पिटल मैनेजमेंट एमएससी इन डेयरी केमिस्ट्री एमएससी इन इलेक्ट्रो केमिस्ट्री एमएससी इन टेक्सटाइल केमिस्ट्री इसके अलावा एमएससी इन बायोटेक्नोलॉजी एमएससी इन माइक्रोबायोलॉजी एमएससी इन इंडस्ट्रियल केमिस्ट्री एमएससी इन वुड साइंस टेक्नोलॉजी एमएससी इन सेलुलोज एंड पेपर टेक्नोलॉजी एमएससी इन्वायरमेंटल मैनेजमेंट एंड एमएससी इन फॉरेस्ट्री इतनी ब्रांचेज में से अगर हम गौर से देखें तो हमारे पास उत्तराखंड और देहरादून में स्पेशली इनमें से तेरह ब्रांचेज अवेलेबल है पीजी करने के लिए केवल टेक्सटाइल केमिस्ट्री यहां से हमारे यहां नहीं है गुजरात में मिलती है डेयरी केमिस्ट्री हमारे यहां नहीं है वो आपको हरियाणा में मिलती है या मेरठ यूनिवर्सिटी एग्रीकल्चर यूनिवर्सिटी में मिलती है और इलेक्ट्रो केमिस्ट्री हमारे यहाँ नहीं है बाकी थर्टीन ब्रांचेस वो सब हमारे यहाँ अवेलेबल है इवन जो लास्ट की थर्टीन एमएससी गुड साइंस टेक्नोलॉजी एमएससी सेलुलो ये सब तो हमारे एफ या दूसरे जो बायो साइंस के इंस्टीट्यूट है उनमें अवेलेबल है और एमएससी इन फार्मास्यूटिकल केमिस्ट्री तो अपने देहरादून के इंडिया के जो टॉप ट्वेंटी फाइव कॉलेज हैं उनमें से दो कॉलेज अपने देहरादून के एक तो डॉल्फिन इंस्टीट्यूट और एक सेकंड पेट्रोलियम यूनिवर्सिटी इन दोनों में ही आपके एमएससी इन फार्मास्यूटिकल केमिस्ट्री अवेलेबल है इसके अलावा अगर हम देखते हैं जो डिग्री कोर्सेज हैं हमारे डिग्री कोर्सेज में एमएससी वो 
एमएससी कोर्स जिसमें केवल बीएससी उसके रिलेवेंट सब्जेक्ट से करी हुई हो जैसे एमएससी फॉरेंसिक साइंस एमएससी फॉरेस्ट फॉरेंसिक साइंस एंड टॉक्सिकोलॉजी एमएससी फॉरेंसिक साइंस एंड क्रिमिनोलॉजी इन मेडिकल टेक्नोलॉजी इन मेडिसिनल केमिस्ट्री इनके लिए आपको बीएससी इसी सब्जेक्ट में रिलेवेंट सब्जेक्ट में कंपलसरी है जब तक आप उस बीएससी नहीं करेंगे तब आप इसमें एमएससी नहीं कर पाएंगे और एमएससी के बाद आपके पास जो डिग्री कोर्स ऑप्शन आता है वो होता है पीएचडी आप पीएचडी किसी भी टॉपिक पर केमिस्ट्री के किसी भी सब्जेक्ट रिलेवेंट सब्जेक्ट से आपने एमएससी किया हो उसमें आप कर सकते हैं और अपना कैरियर इंडस्ट्रियल लेबोरेटरी में रिसर्च फाउंडेशन या किसी भी अकेडमिक इंस्टीट्यूट में ऑफ कर सकते हैं इस तरीके से डिग्री कोर्सेज हमारे ये ये सर्टेन फिक्स नहीं है इसके अलावा भी बहुत सारे होते हैं जो इसमें अभी यहाँ पे इंक्लूड नहीं हो पा रहे हैं क्योंकि बहुत नंबर ऑफ कोर्सेज काफी बढ़ चुके हैं आप कुछ जो फॉरेन में होते हैं वो अभी हमारे इंडिया में नहीं है मैंने मैक्सिमम वो कोर्सेज इंक्लूड करे हैं जो अपने उत्तराखंड में अवेलेबल है इसके अलावा जो केमिस्ट्री फील्ड में डिप्लोमा कोर्सेज होते हैं डिप्लोमा कोर्सेज मेनली तीन तरह से क्लासीफाइड होते हैं पहला है वन ईयर डिप्लोमा कोर्सेज जो पीजी डिप्लोमा बोला जाता है पीजी डिप्लोमा इन इंडस्ट्रियल केमिस्ट्री ये जैसे कि संबलपुर यूनिवर्सिटी ओडिशा में ये वो इंस्टीट्यूट के नाम मैंने दिए हैं जिनमें बहुत पहले से काफी पहले से ये कोर्सेज रन कर रहे हैं इसके अलावा अब ये कोर्सेज सभी जगह अवेलेबल हो गए हैं पीजी डिप्लोमा एनालिटिकल केमिस्ट्री पीजी डिप्लोमा इन केमिकल लैब टेक्नीशियन पीजी डिप्लोमा इन फॉरेंसिक साइंस पीजी डिप्लोमा इन वेस्ट मैनेजमेंट एंड एनवायरमेंटल हाइजीन ये सब इन कोर्सेज हमारे यहाँ अवेलेबल है इसके अलावा थ्री ईयर्स डिप्लोमा कोर्सेज होते हैं ये थ्री इयर्स डिप्लोमा कोर्सेज आफ्टर टेंथ भी होते हैं और आफ्टर ग्रेजुएशन भी होते हैं जैसे डिप्लोमा कोर्सेज इन पॉलीमर टेक्नोलॉजी या डिप्लोमा इन वुड एंड पेपर टेक्नोलॉजी ये गवर्नमेंट पॉलिटेक्निक कॉलेज में आपको अवेलेबल रहता है इसके अलावा हमारे जो केमिस्ट्री फील्ड से रिलेटेड सर्टिफिकेट कोर्सेज होते हैं उनमें जो मेन है वो है सर्टिफिकेट कोर्स इन फॉरेंसिक साइंस सर्टिफिकेट कोर्स इन एनर्टिकल टेस्टिंग एंड इक्विपमेंट सर्टिफिकेट कोर्स इन एनर्टिकल केमिस्ट्री एंड इंस्ट्रूमेंट पेशेंट टेक्नोलॉजी टेक्निक्स सर्टिफिकेट कोर्स इन रबर टेक्नोलॉजी सर्टिफिकेट कोर्स इन क्वालिटी कंट्रोल सर्टिफिकेट ट्रेनिंग प्रोग्राम ऑन स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी ये हमारे लिए आज की तारीख में बहुत ही इंपॉर्टेंट रोल प्ले करता है सर्टिफिकेट ट्रेनिंग प्रोग्राम ऑन स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी क्योंकि जितने भी रिसर्च इंस्टीट्यूट हैं इन सब में जितने भी एनालिसिस होते हैं उसके लिए बड़े एडवांस इंस्ट्रूमेंट यूज किए जाते हैं जिसके एडवांस एनर्टिकल टेक्निक्स हैं यूवी विजिबल स्पेक्ट्रो फोटोमीटर एफ पी आई आर फॉरियर ट्रांसफॉर इंफ्राइट एनालिसिस एच पी एल सी हाई परफॉर्मेंस लिक्विड फोटोग्राफी डबल एस एटोमिक एब्जॉर्शन स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी आई सी पी एम एस एन एम आर न्यूक्लियर मैग्नेटिक रेजनेस स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी इन सब के लिए सर्टिफिकेट ट्रेनिंग प्रोग्राम ऑन स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी अवेलेबल है इंडिया में जो आप लोग अगर करते हैं तो इसमें निश्चित तौर पे जॉब्स बहुत ही अच्छे तरीके से अवेलेबल हैं जिनमें बहुत ही जितने और क्योंकि यहाँ पर एक सबसे बड़ी बात है कि इंडिया में मोर देन मोर देन 8,500 थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड फार्मा इंडस्ट्री हैं जो अभी फिलहाल और इस 13 परसेंट ग्रोथ के साथ रन कर रही है 13 परसेंट ग्रोथ पर ईयर के रेट से इनका ग्रोथ हो रहा है तो यहां पर इतने ज्यादा टेक्निकल हैंड्स की आवश्यकता होती है आप इनमें सर्टिफिकेट कोर्स या डिप्लोमा कोर्स करके बड़ी आसानी से यहां पर जॉब कर सकते हैं अब इनके बेसिस पर जो हमारे कैरियर डेवलप होते हैं कैरियर ऑप्शंस कैरियर ऑप्शंस की बात करी जाए तो इतने इस, इतना स्कोप होने के बाद तो हमारे पास कैरियर ऑप्शन की कोई कमी नहीं होती मैंने पहले भी बताया कि साइंस स्ट्रीम में सबसे ज्यादा कैरियर ऑप्शंस हमारे केमिस्ट्री में अवेलेबल हैं। अमंग ऑल द साइंस डिसिप्लिन केमिस्ट्री द हाईएस्ट एम्प्लॉयमेंट प्रोवाइडर सब्जेक्ट और मुझे मुझ, मेरे व्यू से ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री इसमें सबसे ज्यादा मैक्सिमम जॉब अपॉर्चुनिटी प्रोवाइड करती है इसके अलावा लॉट ऑफ अदर कैरियर ऑप्शन इन द फील्ड ऑफ केमिस्ट्री आर अवेलेबल इन वेरियस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन बोथ इन गवर्नमेंट एज वेल एज प्राइवेट सेक्टर सच एज कॉलेज यूनिवर्सिटी आप पी करके नेट क्वालिफाई करके आप कॉलेज एंड यूनिवर्सिटी में जॉब प्राप्त कर सकते हैं फार्मास्यूटिकल इंडस्ट्रीज केमिकल इंडस्ट्रीज हेल्थ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन फूड सेफ्टी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन रिसर्च लेबोरेटरी ये सब बिल्कुल ओपन प्लेटफॉर्म की तरह से है क्योंकि इनमें मैक्सिमम प्राइवेट सेक्टर भी इन्वॉल्व है तो यहाँ पर आप बहुत आसानी से केवल अपना एक कोर्स बहुत अच्छे से करके अच्छी तरीके से उसमें डिग्री हासिल करके आप आसानी से जॉब ऑफ कर सकते हैं 
on completion of this course student can get jobs with just diverse profiles such as teacher jrf research associate in various research laboratory analytical chemist in various pharmaceutical chemical and sugar textile industries scientific laboratory as a technician jta or iske liye sabse zyada jo job opportunity to apne uttarakhand mein hi hai dehradun mein ongc hai fri hai aapka iip hai in sab mein jta ya dusre scientist ki job nikalti hai aise forensic scientist ki post hai हेल्थ केयर साइंटिस्ट हैं टॉक्सिकोलॉजिस्ट हैं वाटर केमिस्ट हैं फार्माकोलॉजिस्ट हैं हजारडस्ट वेस्ट केमिस्ट हैं नैनो टेक्नोलॉजिस्ट हैं तो ये सब सब फील्ड हमारी केमिस्ट्री से जुड़ी हुई है जो सीधे केमिस्ट्री में अगर आपने इन कोर्सेज को किया है बहुत अच्छे से किया है जो हमारे देहरादून उत्तराखंड में बहुत आसानी से अवेलेबल है जैसे एम एस फार्मास्यूटिकल केमिस्ट्री हमारे डॉल्फिन इंस्टीट्यूट में ही अवेलेबल है एम बायोटेक एंड माइक्रोबायोलॉजी डीबीएसपी कॉलेज में अवेलेबल है या सभी जगह पे ये आसानी से उपलब्ध है आप इसमें कोर्स करके किसी भी अच्छी जॉब को ऑप्ट कर सकते हैं इसके अलावा कैरियर ऑप्शन जो हमारे उत्तराखंड में अवेलेबल हैं उनकी बात करें तो स्कूल कॉलेज एंड यूनिवर्सिटीज इसके अलावा आप इंडस्ट्री पेट्रोलियम में एज अ साइंटिस्ट एज वेल एज एज अ टेक्निकल असिस्टेंट इसके अलावा रिसर्च स्कॉलर या रिसर्च एसोसिएट के तौर पर भी आप यहाँ पे ज्वाइन कर सकते हैं फॉरेस्ट रिसर्च इंस्टीट्यूट में सेम एज अ जे आर एफ एज अ रिसर्च असिस्टेंट एज अ साइंटिस्ट या एज अ लैब असिस्टेंट ये सब केमिस्ट्री से जुड़े हुए आपके पोस्ट हैं जहां पर आप आसानी से जॉब ऑप्ट कर सकते हैं इसके अलावा देहरादून का जो सबसे बड़ा मास केमिस्ट्री से जुड़ा हुआ है उत्तराखंड के सबसे ज्यादा बच्चे जो किसी फील्ड में जाते हैं वो ओएनजीसी है ओएनजीसी में जेटीए की पोस्ट होती है साइंटिस्ट की पोस्ट होती है आप वहां पर आप अपने जॉब्स ऑप्ट कर सकते हैं क्योंकि हमारे देहरादून के हमारे कॉलेज के बहुत बच्चे कम से कम सैकड़ों बच्चे इस ओ में आज भी वर्क कर रहे हैं वाडिया इंस्टीट्यूट हिमालयन जियोलॉजी देहरादून इसके अलावा उत्तराखंड स्टेट काउंसिल फॉर साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी यू पोस्ट यू सेंट्रल बिल्डिंग रिसर्च इंस्टीट्यूट रूड़की इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ फूड एंड साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी इंडियन इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ सॉइल एंड वाटर कंजर्वेशन जी बी पंत इंस्टीट्यूट हर्बल रिसर्च एंड डेवलपमेंट इंस्टीट्यूट मंडल में है उत्तराखंड जल संस्थान उत्तराखंड जल संस्थान एक बहुत ही बड़ा रोजगार प्रोड्यूसिंग सेक्टर है केमिस्ट के लिए क्योंकि हर जगह छोटी छोटी लैब्स बनी हुई हैं वाटर क्वालिटी जांचने के लिए जिसमें केमिस्ट के लिए सीधा एमएससी के बाद इंटरव्यू होते हैं आप वहां पर भी इस तरीके से जॉब्स ऑफ कर सकते हैं मैनी फार्मास्यूटिकल कंपनीज जो आपकी उत्तराखंड में हैं जो जॉब्स केमिस्ट्री एमएससी केमिस्ट्री के बाद या रिलीवेंट एमएससी केमिस्ट्री के बाद या डिप्लोमा कोर्स करने के बाद आपको जॉब प्रोवाइड करती है जैसे विंडलास बायोटेक सिंकॉम हेल्थ केयर एडिएक्टिक फार्मा इसके अलावा शुगर मिल्स एंड डिस्टिलरीज में केमिस्ट की पोस्ट होती हैं केमिकल पेस्टिसाइड्स जो इंडस्ट्रीज होती हैं इनमें जो उत्तराखंड की जो फेमस कंपनीज हैं कनोरिया केमिकल्स पेरिस फूड केमिकल्स जे आर केमिकल्स शिवालिक केमिकल्स बायो पेस्टिसाइड्स एक्सेट्रा इस तरीके से हम देखते हैं कि एमएससी केमिस्ट्री करके या डिप्लोमा कोर्स करके या सर्टिफिकेट कोर्स करके आप तमाम जितनी जितनी ज्यादा इसमें स्कोप है उतना किसी भी दूसरी साइंस की फील्ड में नहीं है तो ये मेरे कुछ व्यूज थे थैंक यू इसके अलावा अब जो भी किसी को क्वेश्चन उठना है आप मुझसे पूछ सकते हैं थैंक यू सो मच सर आई होप सब बच्चों को क्लियर हो गया होगा आपने इस, इतने ज्यादा करियर ऑप्शन इतना वास्ट में uh, इनके बच्चों के सामने रखे सो थैंक यू सो मच सो सर वी हैव अ क्वेश्चन समवन इज आस्किंग कि यूज ऑफ व्हाट इज द यूज ऑफ केमिस्ट्री इन आवर डेली लाइफ हाउ कैन वी रिलेट केमिस्ट्री टू आवर डेली लाइफ आप डेली लाइफ में जैसे कि सबसे बड़ा एग्जांपल तो आपके घर में हर एक जब किचन के किचन में काम करने के बाद जो बर्तन आपके निकलते हैं तो उन बर्तनों को साफ करने के लिए लोग मैकेनिकल पावर यूज करते हैं ताकत लगाते हैं जबकि आपको एक गौर करना चाहिए केमिस्ट्री उसमें छुपी हुई है जब आप घर में फैट या ऑयल यूज करते हैं तो वो कैसे होते हैं वो नॉन पोलर कंपाउंड होते हैं अगर आप उन्हें डायरेक्ट पानी में डालेंगे तो वो आपके क्लियर नहीं होंगे आपको ताकत लगा लगा के उनको रगड़ना पड़ेगा आप इस तरीके से उसमें के जब हम डिटर्जेंट यूज करते हैं तो उसमें क्या होता है ये केमिस्ट्री की रिएक्शन है तो हमें बेसिक पता होना चाहिए तो छोटी छोटी रिएक्शन होती है जब हम चाय बनाते हैं तो जब हम पानी उबलता है उसमें आप चीनी डालते हैं तो पानी आपका क्या हो जाता है बॉइलिंग कम हो जाता है एलिवेशन बॉइलिंग पॉइंट प्रिंसिपल छिपा हुआ है 
तो केमिस्ट्री का डेली लाइफ में यूज बहुत ही आसान है आप सुबह उठने से लेकर रात को सोने तक हर स्टेप में आप जो शर्ट पहनते हैं इसका कपड़ा क्या है ये कॉटन है पॉलिएस्टर है या इसकी क्या बेसिक केमिस्ट्री है तो ये सब हमें सिखाता है अगर कॉटन होगा तो उसकी हीट कैपेसिटी हीट रेजिस्टेंस पावर अलग होगी पॉलिएस्टर होगा तो उसकी हीट रेजिस्टेंस पावर अलग होगी गर्मी में कौन सा पहनना चाहिए जब तक हम उसकी केमिस्ट्री नहीं पता होगी हम कभी भी कोई भी सही डिसीजन नहीं कर पाएंगे मैंने पहले भी एग्जाम्पल दिया था बर्नर के लिए अब बर्नर आपका काला जल रहा है या पीला जल रहा है इसका मतलब उसने होल्स में आपसे क्या कचरा फंस गया दिखा रहा है जूल प्रॉपरली बर्न नहीं हो रहा है कंप्लीट बर्निंग नहीं हो रही है अगर आप उसके होल को क्लियर कर देंगे उसमें जो कचरा फंसा हुआ वो क्लियर कर देंगे तो इसका मतलब कंप्लीट बर्निंग होगी तो ये केमिस्ट्री में डेली लाइफ में बहुत ही एग्जाम्पल है बहुत सरल है सारे हैं जो डेली हम यूज करते हैं सर थैंक यू सर सर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम अमोली पॉल शी इज आस्किंग कि अबाउट द स्कोप एंड करियर अपॉर्चुनिटीज इन डेयरी केमिस्ट्री डेयरी केमिस्ट्री इंडिया में इस टाइम सबसे ग्रोइंग है पहले केवल जो डेयरी उसमें था ये गुजरात में जितनी जितनी हमारी एग्रीकल्चर यूनिवर्सिटी है जैसे गुजरात की हो गई हरियाणा की हो गई ये आपकी मेरठ में हो गई है चौधरी चरण सिंह एग्रीकल्चर यूनिवर्सिटी इन सब में एमएससी इन डेयरी के डेयरी कोर्स अवेलेबल है इवन डिप्लोमा कोर्स भी अवेलेबल है जिसके बाद जिसके तौर पर जॉब आपको काफी काफी हद तक मिल जाती है क्योंकि इसमें हमारे जो एग्रीकल्चर फील्ड है इंडिया का सत्तर परसेंट इसमें बहुत सारे बहुत सारे गवर्नमेंट सेक्टर बस यह है कि थोड़ा रूरल एरिया में जॉब मिलती है लेकिन ऐसा नहीं है कि डेयरी के बहुत सारे इंस्टीट्यूट जो प्राइवेट बड़े बड़े अमूल फैक्ट्री होगी इन सब में भी इन डेयरी एक्सपर्ट की जरूरत पड़ती है तो ये एम इन डेयरी केमिस्ट्री बहुत ही ब्राइट फ्यूचर है इसका आगे बहुत ही अच्छा फोर्स है Thank you, sir. Sir, uh, there is a one question from NS uh, NSS unit, Bal Ganga Mahavidyalaya. They are asking that uh, can we separate the constituents of crude oil by column chromo uh, chromatography? Constitute or uh, or crude oil. Crude oil. Crude oil. Crude oil. एक्चुअल क्रूड ऑयल को ये होते हैं जो क्रूड ऑयल जितने भी क्रूड ऑयल्स आपके होते हैं ये हाइड्रोकार्बन चेंज होते हैं. ठीक है ना इनमें आपके हाइड्रोकार्बन बेसिक फंडामेंटल बड़ा सिंपल होता है ये आपके डिफरेंट डिफरेंट टाइप के आपके चाहे आप पेट्रोल से शुरू करें इनमें केवल हाइड्रोप्योर हाइड्रोकार्बन है इनको हम कॉलम क्रोमोटोग्राफी से इजीली सेपरेट कर सकते हैं क्योंकि तो इसमें जो इनके पोलैरिटी पोलैरिटी के बेसिस से कि जब हम इनके जो हम क्रोमोटोग्राफी का बेसिक सिंपल है एड्सॉप्शन हम इनमें जो कॉलम तैयार करेंगे वो उनकी पोलैरिटी के रेंज की बेसिस पे तैयार कर सकते तो जब उनका जो आपको इनके एब्जॉर्बमेंट लेने हैं अगर आपने एब्जॉर्बमेंट उनकी पोलैरिटी के रेंज के अलग अलग किया है तब आप आसानी से उनको सेपरेट कर सकते सर थैंक यू सर सर आई वुड लाइक टू आस्क ए क्वेश्चन दैट इंडस्ट्री इंडस्ट्रीज में ऐसा माना जाता है कि जो फीमेल uh, है उनको uh, इतनी अपॉर्चुनिटीज नहीं मिलती हैं एज कम्पेयर टू द मेल नहीं नहीं मतलब हाँ ऐसा कहा जाता है कि जब इंडस्ट्रीज में टेक ओवर करने की बात आती है या फिर जब इंटरव्यूज होते हैं तो दे प्रेफर बॉयज मोर देन गर्ल्स खैर ये पहले कुछ इस तरह से परसेप्शन ये बेसिकली परसेप्शन है ऐसा नहीं है पहले जब हम एमएससी केमिस्ट्री देखते थे जब आज से दस साल पहले उस वक्त एमएससी केमिस्ट्री में ये ये प्लेन एमएससी केमिस्ट्री की बात कर रहा हूँ इंडस्ट्रियल या टेक्सटाइल इन सब में तो थोड़ी चीजें क्योंकि वो कम जगह अवेलेबल है इनमें गर्ल्स की संख्या बहुत कम होती है आज आप देखेंगे तो नाइन्टी परसेंट गर्ल्स है और टेन परसेंट बॉयज रह जाते हैं अगर एमएससी केमिस्ट्री में बात करते हैं चाहे मेरा कॉलेज हो या कोई भी कॉलेज हो उन सब में जॉब्स की अपॉर्चुनिटी सबके लिए इक्वल है सबके लिए कोई भी ये केवल परसेप्शन है मिथ है क्योंकि आगे बढ़ने के लिए कभी तो ये बैरियर रखा ही नहीं गया है आज तो हमारी इंडियन एयरफोर्स में जो ये फाइटर जेट हैं वो भी आपकी फीमेल उड़ा रही है तो हम कैसे कह सकते हैं कि नॉर्मल इंडस्ट्री में नहीं है और अगर मैं इसका एक आपको जनरल अपना अपने तेरह दिन की फार्मा का बताते हैं जिसमें मैं सर्वे करने गया था जो शिवालिक बायोटेक है इसमें जो उनकी वर्किंग वो वो था जो मैन पावर थी उनमें मोर देन सिक्सटी परसेंट तो वुमेन्स हैं जो बीएससी और एमएससी पास आउट लड़कियां हैं तो ये मेरे मेरे उसमें तो ये गलत परसेप्शन है 
किसी भी फील्ड में लड़कियां के लिए कोई ऑप्शन नहीं है कोई ऑप्शन की कमी नहीं है इवन आज की तारीख में एमएससी केमिस्ट्री हो या किसी भी कोर्स कोर्स में गर्ल्स ज्यादा है और वो जॉब में भी ज्यादा है यस सर थैंक यू सर फॉर शेयरिंग सो मच वास्ट इंफॉर्मेशन विद एवरी वन सो बिफोर मूविंग ऑन आई वुड लाइक टू गिव एन इंफॉर्मेशन Uh, that uh, Dr. Prashant Singh just told us that a PhD registration in the SGRR University are open now in any uh, in any field. So everyone can uh, apply for that. So moving on, our last speaker is Dr. Rakesh Kumar Joshi. and he'll be uh, speaking on the topic importance and opportunities in chemistry he's a senior associate professor department of chemistry veer shahid kesari chand rajkiya mahavidyalaya dak patthar dehradun he has done his doctorate in organic chemistry in 1997 from hnbgu shrinagar he has worked as jrf srf associate professor in various colleges of uttarakhand he has 30 publications in various journals and uh, 30 research papers and uh, he also has written four books and uh, he is the member of scientific organizations like scientific technical research association he is the associate editor in the international journal of chemical studies published by akinic publications so i would like to request Dr Rakesh Kumar Joshi to share his thoughts on the importance and opportunities in chemistry hello uh, good afternoon to all of you uh, today my presentation topic is importance and opportunities of chemistry uh, let me start uh, my presentation it is visible now please tell me yes sir please carry on okay uh understanding the world the chemistry is the study of matter energy and how they interact everything that happen in the world is because of uh, chemistry uh when ground coffee is exposed to hot water a chemical reaction take place to produce the beverage that many people love to drink and uh, why are the leaves changing in different seasons how come plants are green how do some food is spoil quickly than others uh, these are the types of questions that chemistry look to answer and by taking the course a student can be more informed about the answer all basic life forms on earth depends greatly on chemistry for their survival include including us these are some applications of chemistry uh, like in the field of food we uh, generally uh, every type of food, uh, having uh, for example carbohydrate protein fats uh, vitamins all these uh, types of foods uh, uh, they have some preservative also and uh, these preservative preservative are uh, sorbic acid and its salt benzoic acid and its salt calcium propionate sodium nitrate potassium hydrogen sulfide uh, we also use antioxidant like bha bht propyl gallate uh, uh, etc 
next application in medi uh, medicine field uh, so many drugs uh, are uh, uh, like penicillin streptomycin chloromycetin sulfadiazine quinine etc they are all chemical compounds and uh, these uh, act as a medicine because they uh, treat a particular ailment uh the application of chemistry also in uh clothing set uh, uh industry uh wear rayon nylon terylene dacron all are uh, form of uh, uh these chemicals and uh, they uh, are used as clothing material uh in building and construction also uh, uh, we use Uh, so many chemicals and uh, we prepare cement lime iron paint etc all these are chemical dye and tri calcium silicates and uh, tri uh, calcium aluminate and tetra calcium uh, aluminophorate all these uh, uh, building and uh, these are used in building and construction purposes uh, the application in the field of color paint and dyes uh, uh, so many colors Uh, uh and uh, uh, you call it uh, uh, for example acrylics vinyl acrylics polyurethane resin and oil uh, alizarin congo red methyl red for uh, so many uh, colors uh, uh, are there and uh, these chemicals are used as paints and dyes uh, uh the chemistry we also use in plastic and glasses where polystyrene pvc bakelite sodium dioxide sodium oxide and soda ash lime and several uh, minor additives are used in plastics and glasses and uh, uh, here the application in cosmetics and perfumes here is uh, cyclopentacyl oxane titanium dioxide sodium chloride salt dimethocon uh, trimethoxy carpyl silane perfume fragrance topofirol propylene glycol acetone camphorol benzyl uh, limonene pinene nerol all these are used in uh, cosmetics and perfumes uh, fuel uh, all uh, petroleum Uh, product, for example, diesel, petrol, LPG, CNG, light naphtha, all these are fuels. Uh, they are composed of uh, uh, hydrocarbons, and this is the all chemical compounds uh, and they used as fuel. Uh, all metals uh, and alloys are also uh, used uh, in different uh, fields. uh like uh, metal gold uh silver uh and bronze etc and uh, these alloy steel uh, uh that is uh, iron and carbon bronze uh, brass copper and zinc uh, bronze you know this is the alloy of uh, copper and tin and uh, likewise uh, the application in the field of fertilizer and pesticide so many fertilizers and pesticides are used uh, to uh, uh, to increase the yield of our crops macronutrients nitrogen phosphorus calcium uh, magnesium sulfur micronutrients urea super phosphate of lime ammonium Uh, sulfate potassium nitrate ddt benzene hexachloride all these are chemicals which are used in fertilizer and pesticide you know genetic in, uh, we also uh, take genetic information from these compounds uh, like dna and this dna is composed of again amino acids uh, thymine guanine cytosine uracil all these are uh, amino acids and which are or, uh, these are organic compounds and uh, they make uh, dna and uh, we can get uh, information by these uh, materials and uh, the uh, application of chemistry in environment also where uh, all these uh, gases uh, for example uh, greenhouse gas 
gases, uh, for example, chloro fluorocarbon, carbon dioxide, and uh, how they uh, damage the ozone layer, uh, these chlorofluorocarbons, and uh, uh, which chemicals are alternative of these uh, chlorofluorocarbon because I, ha I have patent on uh, this alternative of chlorofluorocarbon that is cyclopentane where uh, I'm working at the Indian Institute of Petroleum. Uh, chloro, uh, this cyclopentane is uh, act as a substitute of chlorofluorocarbon in blowing polyurethane form and uh, as well as as a refrigerant in uh, uh, these uh, uh, freezes and uh, defreezes also. Uh, in uh, by chemistry, we can make uh, informed decision. Chemistry play a crucial role in so many of the things we do every day. When someone is reading a product label, they will quickly recognize the name of chemicals they learn about in class. Uh, if a product is uh, cl uh, claiming in to do something that is not chemically possible, a savvy buyer will know to avoid that product. But if that person has never taken a chemistry course, they would lack the understanding to reach that conclusion. It means uh, if we uh, study chemistry, uh, chemistry uh, then we can make uh, some valuable uh, uh, decision, uh, take valuable decision. And the uh, Next is stay safe beside making choices about food and other products. Chemistry also keep people safe. How will one substance react with the other? Uh, is the resulting mixture safe or dangerous? Knowing basic chemistry can save a lot of people down the line when they are involved in such situation. Develop skills also. Chemistry involve a lot of analysis, objectivity, and problem solving. And these are skills that may be applicable to any field. The industrial applications of chemistry directly affect our daily lives, what we eat, what we wear, our transport, the technology we, we, we use, how we treat illness, and how we get electricity, to name just a few. The research is constantly uh, deepening our understanding of chemistry and leading to new discoveries. Chemistry will help us solve many future problems, including sustainable energy and food production, managing our environment, providing safe drinking water, and promoting human and environmental health. These are the opportunities uh, uh, in chemistry uh, in the field of research and development, uh, where we get opportunity in research and product development, uh, chemo uh, informatics, engineering and technology, crystallography, pigments, ink and dyes, laboratory project and industrial management, management also, and uh, project management, quality control regulatory, toxicology, safety and health, toxic or hazardous waste management, quality assurance or control, support system. We can also uh, uh, get opportunity in support system also, information management specialist as a human resources, public information, support and communication and technical communication. Sales and marketing, technical sales and marketing, manufacturing, process and formulation chemistry, law and policy. Here is a law, public uh, information, uh, regulation of affairs, policy, social impact, uh, Next is uh, military and law enforcement, military science and technology, forensic science. And in higher education, the professional staff, basic research, chem, uh, chem informatics, professor, information management also. Uh, these are some scope of chemistry in the field of uh, dietary scientists. People with chemical background can work to understand how our diet affects our health and well-being. Uh, in the field of cosmetics, opportunity for chemists in the cosmetics field, including the development of new fragrance, dyes, and skin treatments and formulations. In the field of environmental science, environmental scientists attempt to understand how the environment operates and uh, how human interaction affects the environment. Career opportunity exists with academic, government, and industrial employer. 
uh, in the field of chemical information specialist, scientific writing of technical journal, trade magazines and industry, abstracting database production and museums all. And in uh, intellectual property also, this is uh, in general term used to describe patentable discoveries. The two main categories are patent agent, work for government to examine patent. the applying for patent require a law degree um, beside MSc chemistry. Uh, we can uh, take opportunity in forensic chemistry also, analytical chemistry and biochemistry form the basis for much of forensic science. A general training in chemistry is one of the best preparation for a career in forensic science. There is a significant need for people interested in working for local state and national forensic science lab. In the field of biotechnology, biotech uh, take advantage of biochemistry to produce material for our modern way of life. In the field of toxicology, toxicologists are principally involved in the discovery of new knowledge concerning how toxic substances produce their effect. Industries employ toxicologists to assist in the evaluation of the safety of their product. Uh, in the field of food science, analysis of food to ensure they are safe and nutritious, develop better tasting, longer lasting and healthier food. Uh, thank you. Hello. Hello. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Huh, yes. Thank you so much. Okay. Hello. Thank you so much, sir, for telling our uh, students about the option, career options in the field of chemistry and how chemistry is divided into so much uh, parts like food, science, food, medicine, cosmetics, plastic, paint, and uh, so on. So, sir, uh, let, me, let us see the questions. Hello, sir. Can you hear me? Yeah. So my question is, uh, what is cheminformatics? Cheminformatics uh, means uh, information related to chemistry. Uh, generally, uh, in any particular substance, we know everything about that substance. That is called cheminformatics. For example, if we uh, take example paper, all parameters of paper, uh, how chemicals are uh, uh, involved in paper industry, what is the composition of paper, what is the toxicological effect of paper, uh, all these parameters uh, we working off, that is called chem informatics. Okay, thank you, sir. So if anyone has any questions, they can put it in the com uh, comment box. I think we are done with the questions. Thank you so much, sir. OK. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Barsa Parcha ma'am and uh, their te uh, her team for giving me a great opportunity to uh, interact all participants. Thank you once again. Thank you so much, sir. Now I would like to uh, request Dr. Varsha Parcha to uh, say a word of thanks. Uh, thank you very much, Meda. Uh, uh, here I am to present vote of thanks. But before I present vote of thanks, let me sum up today's uh, webinar. As uh, so many uh, participants are there, we have the many lecturers, we have scientists, we have the research scholars, we have the students. So I think the title of the seminar justified what the speakers spoke about.
so we wanted a better living through chemistry and the theme was various career options opportunities tremendous applications of chemistry rightly today i am thinking had i listened to these speakers before so maybe i too would have so many options in front of me and i would have chosen no i have chosen a better career but still i'll say i could have so many options with me and uh, definitely this was a webinar would have helped me a lot at the time anyway but i think this the webinar has i hope must have done a justice to the students we had different dignitaries from various fields they are having a good academic excellence good credentials to their record and they definitely came to your level to this level of a student to explain you what is the future stored by choosing chemistry as your career a bunch of chemicals and their tremendous applications you know uh, msc chemistry and then the tremendous applications a basic degree you require and then you can then there's no and you can say uh, you can you can create a hole in the sky but you should have a strength to do that but basic thing what is required is yes we need a knowledge of chemistry and i don't think you students those who want to opt it as a career think chemistry is a very boring it's a very scary subject no a subject which gives a lot of application tremendous knowledge tremendous scope how it can be a bore and not interesting subject so i think i think this webinar must have done justice to you and opened your all eyes and windows and now you can look more clearly what career options you can choose we in dolphin do uh, run two courses in uh, pg as P msc pharmaceutical chemistry and msc chemistry msc is chemistry is application is also msc pharmaceutical chemistry which is a application of a chemist and a pharma sector but when you do msc chemistry you can have opportunities in other sectors also as well explained by all the speakers dr p k gupta a renowned scientist in the field of forestry chemistry through a great knowledge make us aware how this forest this chemistry is intervened in the forestry and every part of it can be utilized and how he has given about you an idea about gums about uh, fuel about uh, biopesticides about the ethanol similarly dr prashant singh spoke about in a general how and he is a very renowned figure in uh, water chemistry we have a jal sansthan and he is a coordinator of all those and water pollution and what not he is being handling that and he can he had given a very insight you about the matter that how chemistry can be utilized in all these purposes and then dr abhishek he gave you a i mean tremendous knowledge on certificate courses diploma courses because students get confused what to do how to do and where to do so i got a little bit idea about fr from him also that it is a certificate diploma chemistry and applications of chemistry in different where you can choose and do after doing graduation that we have to because my main motive was that student to choose a one of the careers and how to choose a career he should require some kind of knowledge then dr uh, joshi spoke much about how chemistry opportunities in all the sectors so i am very thankful very thankful to dr p k gupta who was a key note speaker and the guest of honor of the webinar dr prashant singh dr abhishek gupta and dr rakesh joshi who on just requesting i just requested them and they were ready to deliver the lecture and i know uh, we as in dolphin has not stopped in this covid 19 pandemic also and our management has tremendously supported us to carry out such kinds of programs i am very thankful so first of all thank you to all the dignitaries and the speakers then most of all most of all most important thing were the participants for whom we have taken this pains to conduct this webinar and as i told you we have the participants not only from uttarakhand it was from all over the india starting from bangalore to and even we have some participants outside the country also from bangalore to j and k so we had all the participants from different sectors maybe they are not bsc only or maybe they are not the pg only but they wanted to listen how fascinating this chemistry subject is so thank you thank you very much all the participants and the faculty 
and the faculty who took in keen interest when i circulated this my uh, webinar uh, notice to them and they took a keen part that their students should participate in it so thank you very much speakers and thank you very much participants without your participation and active involvement this webinar would not have been possible my thanks to management dolphin pg institute of biomedical and natural sciences our chairman mr arvind gupta who is very key very key to carry out or make us to conduct these programs my thanks to principal ma'am dr shelja pant director of the institute dr arun kumar and the management all the management who supported me to carry out this uh, to conduct this webinar then my say thanks to my faculty member department of chemistry and pharmaceutical chemistry dr deepak singh dr ritu singh dr raju chandra mr uday <clears throat> and uh, other faculty members of the dolphin who helped me a lot for uh, carrying this and uh, helping me out to design and organize this webinar now my special thanks to our it team you know in this pandemic all this would have been possible if we conduct all this uh, from one to one but it is not possible in this pandemic uh, pandemic so our it team mr sujit and his team they have worked from toes starting how to manage how to give the link how to conduct the um, uh, this webinar how to share the presentations all has been uh, done because of the help of our it support it uh, team mr sujit and his team thank you very much sir without this this would not have been possible for me to conduct this webinar now last but not the least medha is a budding chemist he is doing i mean he is in a fourth semester msc chemistry so i wish her a great success she helped me to conduct this program so thank you one and all who has helped me to make this webinar a success thank you very much
वाई जी घर इलेवन का मेरे को छोड़ दिया इन्होंने ठीक है मंडे से फ्राइडे